Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a very exciting DIY project for you. A Barbie inspired bathroom makeover. My mission in life is to keep it colorful, to add some positivity and some color to the world. And that's exactly what we're doing today. I am transforming my bathroom into a fun and stylish and very pink place. Inspired by everyone's favorite fashion icon, Barbie. Or in my case, it's actually gonna be a Lucy doll. Let me explain. A fan gave this to me years ago and it's literally a modern Lucy doll. And this is gonna be my muse. This is gonna be my color palette. This is what we're working with for the inspiration. It's dusty. Sorry, doll. It literally just says fun. What more could you want? Okay, so this is our thing that we're gonna expand on to decorate our bathroom. It's always good to have some object, what you pull colors from, like a little trinket, something that makes you happy. It's a great way to start if you're not sure how you want to theme a room. By the way, I am not in any way an expert. This is the first time I'm decorating an apartment. It's gonna be fun. Fun. I also wanna share some of my personal experiences and stories with you along the way. Especially what it meant for me growing up in a Barbie world as a very shy, sensitive, introverted kid. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you wanna stay updated on all my upcoming colorful DIY projects and my music videos. I am actually a full-time singer-songwriter when I'm not decorating bathrooms. Let's get started, let's check out the before. This is my bathroom on move-in day of this year. Honestly, it is the biggest apartment bathroom I've ever had and it's the first time I've ever had my own bathroom and a bath, so I'm stoked. I knew immediately that I wanted to do something special and themed and make it my own. To start, I'm using the pink and blue shades of this Lucy doll to start with some floor bath mats and small accents. The pink bath mat is from the dollar store and the blue is actually crate and barrel it's a beautiful day guess what just arrived oops i've been in the middle of moving it's a lot it's very stressful this whole moving thing and something i forgot a shower curtain so thank goodness we've also got some other goodies in here that i'm really excited to show you so moving takes more oh. Moving takes more than a weekend, is what I'm learning. It's been a full week since I moved to my new place in Los Angeles, and uh, there's stuff everywhere. Uh. Shower curtain, subtle. Some excellent tub stoppers, and bath mat, so I don't fall. What a way to go. Thank you, thanks. You want to take a bath too? That's so it's okay, I'm gonna hop in this bath real quick and make sure this bath stopper works. I've never used one before. This is new for me. Also, I want to see what the bathroom looks like from the bathtub perspective because that's where I'll be most of the time. With Barbie being such a hot topic this year, it really brought up a lot for me about what it means to be a female in our society. And to tell you a secret that I've never shared, I had a genuine obsession with the color pink as a teenager. To give you a little glimpse, here's my van Floyd, like Pink Floyd. If you don't know who that is, please go stream it on Spotify. And here's my prom dress that I worked very hard at a smoothie shop for a year to save up and buy. Very pink. All my friends hated the color pink, and most of them still do. But I love how powerful it made me feel because I had two brothers and a lot of goth friends. And pink was just mine, it was my thing, and I loved living in a world where females were in charge and everything was just feminine. I was also in the closet and sometimes I wonder if my love for pink was actually some kind of self-acknowledgement of my attraction to women, but who knows, I'll save that conversation for my therapist. Let's get back to the bathroom. I had to take the shower curtain down already because I didn't realize how filthy it was on the shower rail, so I'm gonna clean it and put it back up. I really think in any bathroom, the shower curtain is the biggest decoration piece and it basically serves as much purpose as the wall colors since it takes up so much space. So definitely choose something that draws attention in a good way. This pink curtain is also transparent, so it creates depth and space. Since it's a fairly small bathroom, anything that adds dimension is going to be super important. 
I let my followers vote on adding this beach poster and they said yes, they love it. And I love it because it's cheesy, but the window frame makes it feel like I'm in a Barbie dollhouse with those fake paintings that those houses came with. And it creates a Malibu Beach Barbie vibe too, which is fun. This is my favorite part, organizers. I don't know why, but I could spend all day shopping for these and putting them in drawers. I love this open cabinet situation, but I definitely need some organizers to clean it up. These little mirrors are actually from the dollar store and they were actually set pieces from my very first music video. It was called Just Friends and these were nice little set design, added a lot of production value to the music video, but they were only a buck. I love repurposing decorations and living in Hollywood is a great place to do it. You can find cheap home decor from TV shows and movies. They use it like once in an episode and then they sell it for a discount. It's pretty crazy. If you've watched any DIY home decor videos in the last three years, you know all about contact paper and how popular it has become. I swore I would never use it after ripping a hole in the wall at my last apartment while I was trying to take it off, but here we go again because it's so cute and easy and adds so much to a room. At least now I know you need to use a blow dryer to apply heat to the paper before trying to take it off. So just a pro tip for anyone using it for the first time. It took me a while to get these symmetrical, but we did it. And now we get to add some foliage. So these all over Pinterest and I decided to get them. This was on Amazon. So this is like a Malibu beach -y -s 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 -y. Bag in a bag. Greenery. Thought it'd be nice to get some greenery in here. There aren't any windows in this bathroom, so I think this is gonna look really good. Adding some greenery to every room in my new apartment is so important for me. And since there aren't any windows for natural light in this bathroom, we're just gonna have to make do with some fake plants. I may live in an apartment now, but I grew up on acres of property out in the country most of my life. It was peaceful and quiet, except for like the chickens and rooster balking, and nature was just everywhere. City life is definitely a challenge, but I find that adding plants to each room really helps to make it homey for me. There have also been a ton of psychological studies that show how good it is for your mental health to have plants around. Even the fake ones make a difference. You said lean into the Barbie theme, so I did, okay? Beach bathroom Barbie. This was a TJ Maxx. It was open. They discounted it to $4 because it was open on the top, and I'm not going to use these soaps. Uh, I mean I could. It was open. I don't know, would you could you use it? Pink loofah, pink bath salts, but most importantly, this little tub. 100% magic. I'm adding a few little pink touches around the sink. Grabbed this at Target in the $3 section. I think it was supposed to be a candle holder. Adding a few rocks. These were actually from my childhood home. This tray is a souvenir from Times Square, New York City. Big shout out to YouTube for featuring me on the YouTube Shorts billboard in Times Square. And we're just going to put some seashells and candles on it. My mom always uses seashells as soap holders and I've always thought it was super cute, so I'm doing the same. Now it's time to put up some artwork on the wall. I found this nautical illustration at Stanley's Comic Con about five years ago. It's not Barbie, but it is on brand for me. I love animation and I love all things nautical and I absolutely love that the rainbow hair is melting into the ocean in this one and it just really adds a lot of color to this section. We're actually almost done. There's only a few things I'm going to do before showing you the final reveal and one of them is getting the door right. So I put a bow on the door, but it just feels off. It doesn't quite feel the way I want to. I'm gonna use one of the extra mirrors. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, are you ready? Here is the final look.
I'm super happy with the way it turned out. This is the first bathroom I've ever decorated, so my standards weren't like super high, but I'm glad that it is relaxing. It feels like there's a nature theme along with the Barbie inspiration. I had trouble finding these exact vanity light bulbs, but we will find them. And I'm still waiting on approval from the landlord to paint at least one wall pink. But wait, there's more. Let's get a reaction from someone who hasn't seen this bathroom since move-in day. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Barbie dream bathroom. <laughs> Anytime. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. And that's a wrap on our Barbie bathroom makeover journey. I hope you enjoyed joining me on this colorful and creative adventure. Remember, it's important to embrace your own unique style. Make your space truly your own. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. I'd love to say hello, so please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, keep your chin up, keep the music on, and keep it colorful. I'll see you soon. I hope this video has sparked some of your creativity. And if you liked it, I know you're gonna love my Barbenheimer mashup song. And definitely check out my upcoming bathtub photo shoot that I just posted in my new Barbie-inspired bathtub.